Okay, when you don't have a map of your site, right? Uh, a lot of times we don't. We can always just uh, go to Google, go to the Google map, Google map, and then find our site, wherever we are. Let me look at it in the map view so I could see everything. Where are we? We're at school, huh? Design Technology Center. We can get the image from the internet as well, as long as we have something to reference from. Okay, so if I go to the satellite, that's our building right there, right? Damn it, we're not constructed yet. <laughs> okay, but here we go. We'll do this. So I can do a, what's called a screen dump, control, alt, print screen on your keyboard. So control, hold the control button, hold the alt button down, and over at the top end of your keyboard, uh, third one that, third one from the, third one from the right, you'll say print screen, right? So click on those three, and that should have. Uh, dump whatever is on the screen onto your, uh, onto your uh, scratch space. Now, on some computers, it is a function alt, I think it was function alt print screen, or it was control function print screen, or in our, our machine, it might be this um, control, uh, okay, if it's not doing it, then it could be that uh, little window symbol there. Okay, so let's try that. And then we'll open up a Photoshop. Okay, and as soon as we do that, we go to File, New, and it should have the screen resolution size already on there. So if we say okay, that's our screen, and then say Control V, and that will just place our image onto your, into Photoshop, okay? Now, from that, you will need to do this. This is very, very important. You don't want to, Control V is paste, so you don't want to keep this image just as it is. One reason being that you'll think that when this is up, right, when this is up here like this, you might think that this is the actual page and you'll start you'll start clicking on some of these stuff going, hey, how come this isn't closing? I, you, you do, you walk away and then you come back and you're going, hey, my computer isn't working, what the heck? Um, so what, what a good thing to do is to go to the marquee tool, just grab the image, I'll just grab it up to here, and select an area. I want to select this area right here, but the main thing is to keep this part right here, that's your scale. That says 200 feet, right? You need something to reference the length from. So always grab the bottom uh, left-hand corner and then to wh wherever your screen uh, image is going to be. Okay, And then say crop, image crop. And that way you'll never make a mistake that this is oh, a page on the computer. It's just an image. And then you will go ahead and file, save this as, and make sure that it is like a JPEG. Now AutoCAD only reads JPEG and bitmap, I believe, so or TIFF, TIFF as well. Um, so what you need to do is save it as, as one of those format. Okay, so I'm gonna name it Mount Zach, and it's in the JPEG format, and saves. Okay, the JPEG auction, all these stuff. I guess that's all right for now. And then I could close out of here. No, I'm not going to save that. Get rid of that. And right now I'm in a brand new, brand new uh, document. And from here I've already set my units and set uh, my limits. Something bigger than since since my. Since the map that I downloaded was, you know, you saw the scale, right? 200 feet was just that big, so it's going to be huge. So I, you know, made it into like 5,000 or some, some ridiculous limit, okay? 
So from here, I'll do the same thing. I'll insert, attach, and select. Where do I put that? And you got to remember where you where you place the place the image. So from our from our uh, file, we need to locate that project. I'm in the wrong class right now, I guess. Oops. Mount stack and open that up. Okay. So again. Uh, I want to specify this as no path so I could just keep this drawing and this image together. Um, I'm going to click and guess at this thing, how big that's going to be. Okay, so this is 200 feet. First thing I'm going to do is to check how, how well I did on the scaling. From here to here is uh, 2,000, no, 26,000. 388 feet, which means that I have this image way bigger than I really need it, right? So I can do it the other way as well. You can scale up and you can scale down. So what I'm going to do is to say <coughs> draw a line from the exact midpoint of that. Ortho on, click, copy that guy from that point and the 200 feet is right over in the middle of there, right? Since I went from the middle of this, I want to go to the middle of that. If I went from the one edge, I would want to stay on the, the same edge. Left, left, right, right, or the middle, middle, okay? And the 200 feet, I'm just going to check where that is supposed to be really exactly. So offset, uh, distance is 200 foot. Select that button, or select that line, and click. Oh, and I'm supposed to only be that big. <laughs> that sounds stupid. Okay, but I'm so small. Oh, that didn't sound good either. <laughs> We're recording this shit. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to scale this down. Uh, earlier, we scaled this up, right? We could do the same thing the, uh, the opposite way. So the command again is scale. Select the image only. So select the edge. OK. What is my base point? My base point is still going to be at that zero point. What is my uh, scale factor? I don't know. So I'm going to say R for reference. So I go back, and well, because it says specify reference length, I go back to the base point. And what is the second point? point of the base uh, second point of the reference length it's way out out here right and then what's the new length I'm gonna shrink this down all the way down here so now I have this thing 200 feet as 200 feet so with that let's check it again distance from here to here is 200 feet so I have a correct size for my mount sack and we're hanging out somewhere around here I guess huh all right so so you can always reference scale up reference scale down so that you can get the correct um, correct size of your property so when you when you're working on a project somewhere here in this in this parking lot or something you can um, use this drawing, trace all the, trace all the uh, streets and the buildings and such, and you'll have a, a planned drawing good to go, okay?